Hey guys, in this tutorial we will build this data entry form from scratch. After filling out the fields and pressing the submit button, the data has been added to our Excel file. The entry form is built entirely in Python. No VBA is required. At the end of the tutorial, we will be also converting the Python script to a standalone program. In doing so, we could share this data entry form with colleagues and friends, and they could use our program without having to install Python. The best part is that you could use the code we will write in this tutorial as a starter template. If you want to add or remove columns, you only need to change one line of code. Additionally, you could also easily add more elements to the user form, like multi-line input fields, sliders, list boxes, a file dialog box and much more. Ok, and without further ado, let us get started. As a first step, I will be installing the required modules. To create the graphical user interface, I will be using the PySimple GUI library. You can install the package by typing pip install PySimple GUI into your command prompt or terminal. To interact with Excel, I will be using the pandas and OpenPyXL library. If you have those libraries not installed yet, you can install them by typing pip install pandas and pip install OpenPyXL. Once we've gotten that out of the way, I will open up a blank Python file. First things first, I will be importing PySimple GUI as SG. PySimple GUI comes with different color themes. At the end of this tutorial, I will show you all the available themes, but for now I will be using the dark teal 9 theme. As a next step, I will create the layout. Let me shortly type out the complete structure, because in this way, I think it might be easier to understand how this library works. Each list within the layout list represents a column in the GUI. PySimple GUI offers different elements. For instance, in the first row, I have a simple text as a header. After that, I have another text with a size of 15 and 1. It means that the text is 15 characters wide and 1 character tall. In the same row, I also have an input field. What is essential here is the key. We will use the key later to retrieve the values from the input form. Finally, I have also two buttons. One submit button and one exit button. Once we have the layout, we can pass it over to the instance of the window. Additionally, we could also provide a window title. After initializing the window, we can use a while loop to check for any events which might occur by using the windows.read method. For instance, clicking on the X will trigger the event win closed. Similarly, by clicking on the exit button, the exit events gets triggered. In that case, we want to break the while loop. If we click the submit button, I would like to print out the name and the values. Outside our while loop, I will close the window. Ok, and here's our code for a simple GUI application. To run the code, I will go back to my command prompt, navigate to the directory of the script and run the data entry.py file. After pressing enter, our GUI appears. Let me enter my name and press the submit button. PySimple GUI now prints out the event's name in my command prompt, so submit and the values. Note that the values are returned as a Python dictionary with the key we have specified in the script. By clicking exit, we should break from the while loop and close the window. Now that we know how this library works, I will add more fields to our layout. As before, let me shortly type out the complete structure. Instead of an input text, I have inserted a combo box with three different colors to choose from. Next, I would like to display the three checkboxes. For each checkbox, I'm defining a separate key. If the user ticks the checkbox, PySimple GUI will return true, otherwise it returns false. Next, I have also included a spin element. I'm using here a list comprehension, which will return a list of values from 0 to 15. By the way, you can find all available elements like sliders, list boxes, radio buttons and so on in the official documentation. I will make sure to insert the link to that documentation in the description box. Ok, and if we rerun our script, we can now see our GUI with the new layout. After pressing the submit button, it will print out again our values in a Python dictionary. But instead of printing out the values to the screen, I would like to return the values to Excel. Therefore, I have prepared the following Excel file. In the first row, I have inserted the headings. I intend to insert a new row with the values from the GUI once the user presses the submit button. We can accomplish this with the help of the pandas library. Therefore, the column name in your Excel file 
must be 100% matching with the keys you have to find in your layout. Having said that, let me switch back to our script. First, I will be importing pandas SPD. Then, I'm defining a variable called Excel file, which holds the path to the Excel file. As my Excel file is in the same directory as the Python script, I only need to type the Excel file name here. However, if your Excel file is not in the same directory, you would need to specify the exact path to the file. As a next step, I will create a pandas data frame by typing df is equal to pd.read followed by our Excel file. And here comes the trick. Instead of printing the values, I will append them to our data frame and ignore the index. Once again, this will only work if your key names and the names of the columns are 100% matching. Once we have appended the new row to our data frame, I will override our initial Excel file as follows. To let the user know that the data has been saved, I will also insert a pop-up message. Ok, and that is all there is to it. After running the script, we can see our GUI application. And when I'm clicking the submit button, a new pop-up window appears, saying that the data have been saved. If everything worked, we should have those entries also in our Excel file. And indeed, our script has added two more rows. The cool thing is that you could use this code as a starter template for your projects. If you want to add more fields to your Excel file, all you need to do is to add another column, for instance city, save the file and adjust the layout in your Python script. For this example, I will also use an input text. Just remember to use the column header name as the key, so in my case city. And that's it. After rerunning the script, we have our new input field and if I submit the data, we will see our new entry in the Excel file. To polish up our application, I will also insert a clear button. By clicking the button, I would like to clear the user input from the GUI. For this, I will define a separate function outside the while loop. All it does is iterating over the keys and the values and set them to an empty string. Within the while loop, I can now call this function whenever the user presses the clear button. Additionally, once the user has submitted the data, I will also clear the input. Now let us go ahead and test this by inputting some data into the GUI. And as expected, after clicking clear, the values in the form have been cleared. Also, after submitting the data, we get a fresh entry form. Now that we have our final GUI application, we might want to share it also with colleagues or friends. Yet, perhaps they do not have Python installed on their machine. And frankly speaking, it might be even easier to input the values directly in Excel rather than executing our Python script from the command prompt or terminal. Therefore, we will be converting our Python file to a standalone executable file. In that case, we do not need Python to run our application. To transform our file, I will be using the PyInstaller library. You can install it by typing pip install pyinstaller into your command prompt or terminal. Once done, navigate to the directory of the Python file which you want to convert. Next, you can type pyinstaller dash dash one file dash dash no console followed by the Python file name. Executing this line may take some time, but once done, you will find the following folders in your project. One of the folders is called dist. Here you will find the standalone executable file. I will copy and paste it out of the folder. You can go ahead and delete the other files as we do not need them. Ok, and if I execute the file, we should see our GUI. To validate that everything is working, I will submit more data. Once done, our program has added new rows to our Excel file. Ok guys, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. As a bonus, I will also include a folder called demo in the download files. In the demo folder, I have copied two scripts from the official PySimple GUI documentation. If you run all elements.py, it will show all the available elements like multi-line input fields, sliders, list boxes and even a file dialog box. Additionally, you will find a theme script which shows you all the various themes PySimple GUI offers. Ok guys, and that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment sections. Thanks for watching and see you next time.